Hey, where are you going? Champ? Slugger? Hey, cowboy! Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going out! Hey, everybody. It's Caleb here. And I am out on the town despite the fact that we are currently under a stay-at-home order. That's right, Governor Ivy. I am defying your stay-at-home order. Which means I am doing what, Judas Priest? Breaking the law! Breaking the law! That's right. So... The important thing to understand about this is, technically, unfortunately, I'm actually not breaking the law because I am a member of the media, and there was a specific carve-out for people who are in the media doing something associated with their job, which, as you can plainly see, I currently am. And there was also an exception for people that were going out to get some exercise. There were exceptions for people that were going to grocery stores and their home improvement stores, and they were also giving out exceptions for really pretty much everything, including, this was my favorite part, ones that were going out in order to maintain their daily routine. Well, the funny thing about that is, that could be pretty much anything. And even for the people that weren't necessarily going out to do something, even if they were blatantly violating the law and doing something that they knew was frivolous, well, all they would have to do is lie about it. And so I find the whole thing really fascinating that the law that was put forth really doesn't do anything. I mean, at all. And so even though I did complain about the law, I think that it's overly heavy-handed. I think it's government trying to control its citizens' behavior. Ultimately, I do understand the fact and acknowledge that the law doesn't really do very much at all. It doesn't really stop anybody from doing something, whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. And I think really that comes down to a big government mindset. You see, very often a lot of the regulations that governments put in place that are obtrusive don't really have any way to enforce them in the first place. And so while, yes, of course, it's important that those laws are not on the books and a normal, typically law-abiding citizen doesn't have to walk on eggshells or look over their shoulder every 10 seconds to make sure that they are in compliance with the law, I think that it's also incredibly important for us to remember that normally these regulations don't wind up doing what they set out to do. And the only person that it actually affects is the honest person. The person that doesn't want to break the law simply because they don't want to break the law. And so it winds up becoming a hindrance and an annoyance primarily to the people that want to obey the law, that want to be good citizens, and want to do the right thing, even amid, among this COVID-19 epidemic. That's who it primarily affects. The people that don't care about the law, that don't care about following the rules, they find a way to skirt around it, and so the law does not become a hindrance to them but the average law-abiding citizen. If you want my understanding of why I disagree with big government regulation and government trying to involve itself in every little aspect of our life, that's a pretty good summary of my entire political philosophy. Something to think about. My mother always said if you can't say something nice about somebody, then you're probably talking about a leftist. Nah, I kid, but seriously, it would really help me out if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm sure my mom would appreciate it.